Hello chess friends and welcome to Azad of Chess Channel and welcome to my series the mathematical calculations and geometries in chess. So in this series we are using the common mathematics, uh, the common geometries in order to get a better understanding of our position and get in, in order to get a better understanding of some tactical possibilities uh, while calculating maybe some lines, uh, some complex middle games and similar similar stuff that are basic knowledge in, in chess. So uh, today I wanted to talk about this so-called evaluation and now these days of course the computers are uh, the most important things in chess because although we have now these books uh, you can read so many many strat strategy books now really the the computers are really really important because uh, in order to prepare uh, ourselves we have to really to use engines we have to find um, the best um, the, the best continuations in some particular lines in some particular openings in some mid, uh, middle game calculations of tactics and uh, as i said i also of course use engines i use this common engines like the stockfish on uh, leeches on or on chess.com so nothing sophisticated it fits for me it's enough enough for me because uh, of course I've n I'll never play like a stockfish 10 but uh, uh, I said I don't need anything better it's uh, simply fine for me so um, what to say about this evaluate evaluation so we all know that uh, this uh, common evaluations about the pieces that the queen is worth nine points that uh, um, that the rook is worth five points that the uh, knight and the bishop are worth three points and that the pawn is worth one point uh, but uh, why does a computer Computers sometimes evaluate the position like one and a half for for white. Why why isn't always uh, why is why isn't it always about material? Because uh, the engine also um, calculates the activity of our own pieces. It also uh, calculates the activi activity of your opponent's pieces. So it means it do it's not all about material. It's also about activity and the mobility of your pieces. And uh, we'll see now in a couple of examples uh, how this works. And uh, I think it will be really fun. Uh, the other thing that um, the computer evaluates is also the switch move factor, which is also important. You see now in an example, it's really important which move is this because if it's black mo move, then black will lose. If if it's white move then um uh, then it will be a draw so let's see uh, if your computer evaluates the position one and a half of, of plus so it means that white is an advantage of uh, at least one pawn and he has sort of an activity uh, and if you if you if you see the evaluation it's minus two it means that black is uh, well it he's somehow uh, like uh, two pawns up uh, but he's need not really up in material he's up in sort of a mobility or the activity of its of, of his own pieces so let's see now this couple of examples uh, how computers really evaluate the position uh, we have here now uh, this which move factor uh, you see if black moves now then uh, uh, white can, white pardon me uh, white can go here uh, d7 and uh, here of course promote to queen on e8 but if it's a white move uh, then he has to move here on e6 or uh, leave uh, the protection of this e7 pawn and then it will be of course a draw or a stalemate <coughs> so let's see now uh, this uh, dispositions of the pieces so see although uh, although uh, the evaluation of the pieces is always as said that the queen is uh, the queen is worth nine points the rook is worth five points the bishop is worth three points and the knight is worth uh, also three points uh, it's not uh, always the same it's important where you have put put your pieces because all of these pieces are the best um, are the best in the center because they always have a very nice uh, uh, mobility you see the knight in the center is very powerful so is so is the queen so it's also the bishop and also the rook uh, but in order to really really get a better activity we should move our pieces towards uh, towards our opponent's uh, king so it means now uh, if you move the rook maybe more forward, uh, the computer will ev evaluate uh, the position much much better for you because you have not only uh, that you have improved the position of the rook, you have also restricted your opponent's uh, king's ability to play. So let's see now this example. Uh, we have here now position, and in, in this 
this uh, position the computer evaluates the position plus three for, for white uh, if we just uh, look at this material factor we know that the rook is worth five points and the knight is worth three points well it's kind of fits here because uh, it's uh, the calculation is almost correct you see we have uh, it's it's nearly uh, calculated about material but uh, you see now this position uh, we have also th the same pieces on the board but here the rook uh, has moved much much further to the king and he, uh, the rook has also restricted the ability of this black knight to play so here the uh, the computer evaluates the position plus five so you see uh, the m this factor the mobility of the rook is really really important uh, now we have also um, restricted this knight's uh, mobility to play and that's why the position is simply better uh, that's really important because in chess we, you have to move forward, uh, you have to restrict your opponent's pieces because while moving forward of course uh, your opponent cannot play because you have already occupied maybe the squares uh, that uh, he is trying to cover. So basically the the computer evaluates also this uh, squares that uh, you, you cover and the squares that the, your opponent um, cannot cover and that's really really cool because... Um, you see now in a couple of examples uh, that it was obvious that white uh, had really the better activity with the pieces and the computer although uh, we had the same material on the board uh, the computer evaluated the position like plus five and plus seven for white so let's see now this position mm, here you see uh, here the computer gives an evaluation this position uh, plus three for white uh, but it's really really fits because you see we have now this light square bishop which is uh, blocked out by its own pawns and uh, this mobility or the activity uh, of this bishop is really bad so it's basically worth maybe like a pawn because it's it's a pawn really here but it's um, it uh, cannot create any attacks it's not uh, also used as a defensive piece meanwhile you can see uh, that this bishop is very very powerful it creates uh, attacks uh, on both of the sides of the board and that's why here the computer evaluates the position uh, plus three it's almost that we have here maybe a um, we are bishop up here in this position although the material is equal so let's see now the continuation it was a really cool game uh, here uh, after knight on e8 we have rook on g5 you see simply moving forward again uh, i'm pointing out while p p putting your pieces uh, more forward you're also restricting your opponent's mobility of the pieces so that's really important because uh, now you see in the next move here uh, queen on e7 queen on h4 again simply moving forward uh, still staying with this very nice activity of, of the bishop and just simply restrict some maybe some other moves like uh, i don't know knight on f6 moves many many of these uh, moves are not possible because we have a huge activity uh, with our own pieces so now you see knight on f6 and now comes the mistake you see uh, because we pushed uh, all of these pieces forward we have a really, really nice activity i hope you realize that white is simply better here the queen is aiming the rooks are aiming on the g and h file here the knight on f6 is not good because here we have again we are again simply moving forward queen on h6 again uh, simply restricting the opponent's ability to play here rook on a7 and now a deflection motif very nice we can even give up the uh, bishop because here after queen takes on d6 we have rook takes g7 king takes rook takes on <coughs> h7 with this discover check uh, uh, king on uh, king on e7 rook takes king takes and now uh, this is of course a completely winning endgame here for white but let's see the continuation king on, king on e7 now queen on f6 and uh, here is the threat uh, if uh, queen on f8 uh, then we have here uh, the check first and then if you move the king uh, you simply lose the queen with the move rook on g8 you see uh, it was really important uh, to restrict uh, the ability of, of these pieces to play you see this rook was out of the game and uh, this bishop was also out of game it was basically a pawn through the whole game and that's why the computer evaluated the position of plus seven here so it's unbelievable with the same material with uh, with uh, unbelievable activity here by white 
you see how important this uh, factor of the activity is in chess you should really really put your pieces on the best squares so try to improve the position of the pieces and somehow restrict your opponent opponent's ability to play so here again uh, again it's uh, obvious uh, that white has a better activity has a better mobility here the bishop is very well placed we have rooks on on some semi-open files we have also uh, an h6 pawn that's uh, really pushed far here also uh, keeping this uh, keeping this pawns on the king side paralyzed this rook is out of game again the bishop uh, the bishop is out of game here the computer gives the evaluation plus uh, 7.8 for white so you see although the material again this material is equal uh, it's not all about material it's really about this mobility and that's how you should really uh, think in chess so let's see now the continuation again it was a very cool continuation it was a game played by oscar pano against erich uh, ellis Cassis. and here uh, white finds a very nice tactical motif rook takes uh, rook takes on uh, d5 so of course e takes d5 now we can push forward uh, e6 f takes e6 uh, rook takes on e6 queen on uh, f8 king t uh, queen takes uh, king takes if you take with the knight then you get a very nice checkmate with the two knights here knight on f6 can first be played then you have to move the king on h8 and then you get knight on f7 very nice checkmate so after queen uh, takes on f8 king takes on f8 has to be played now knight takes on h7 uh, king on g8 knight on g5 here bishop on b7 but it's already too late now uh, rook takes on g6 if you try king on h8 then you get again checkmated because you have now knight on f7 king on h7 and here also very nice checkmate so that's why um, here after rook on g6 you have to play king on f8 here h7 and now king on e7 but now rook on e6 you have to move the king uh, on the eighth rank and here we can simply promote and again it's a completely winning end game here for white so you see this let's go back here uh, to this two important things uh, so it's no, not uh, all about this uh, common evaluation of the pieces as said the computer evaluates tactical possibilities uh, mobility and the activity of the pieces so as said while playing chess you have to put your pieces on the best squares and try to move it as f uh, much as forward uh, on your opponent's half of the board because uh, you see in the, you saw in this example when you moved uh, here like the pawn it was on e5 the pawn here was on h6 uh, these two pawns created really really sort of uh, restriction of all of these pieces you see uh, this knight stayed uh, after this tactical motif on the same squares their ability was restricted by this pawn on e5 and uh, you see that's why here the computer evaluated uh, the position for white almost plus eight okay uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, we'll continue with some common uh, geometries and mathematics uh, here uh, the in in chess and uh, i have to also to say that uh, i've created also one video about this uh, positional sacrifices in the middle game and uh, this video will be also added uh, to this to this series because uh, i created this video in my basics in chess series so uh, here is the link to that video and meanwhile you can watch my uh, other uh, basics in chess videos uh, with some opening principles middle game strategies and the end game strategies and you can also watch my chess tactics videos in which i show you the common tactical motifs that can happen in a chess game and you can also subscribe to my channel Thanks you for watching guys and chess is the best of course.